Hi designers, today I wanted to talk about, well, two opposite end things. And the reason I was thinking about these two things is because I realized that in every aspect of my life, I prefer this. And when I started thinking about that, I started thinking about how like many times we as individuals, like our preference for whatever, you know, whatever thing it is, not even the thing I'm talking about today, is always the same in all aspects of our lives, with our family, with our friends, at work, you know, someone who maybe has like really high values, they want those high values to be still in their family and in their, uh, in their friend group and at work, right? Like where they have alignment with all of those things, there is alignment overall in someone's life. You think about someone who really struggles at a job and very often it's because it's not in alignment with like who they are for some reason. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what I was thinking about. And it kind of got me to this whole idea of, um, kind of the way I operate. I've been a designer now for 20 years. Um, I am definitely a doer. Like I'm an operator. I love to design for the sake of design. I like getting on my computer. I like sitting there and drawing the wallpaper. I like sitting there and drawing the SVG file. I like making the fabric line. Like I am a doer. I like actually doing the work. And it really led me to start thinking about my team and design suite and even design boot campers. And I realized that I prefer an action taker any day of the week over a thinker. Now, doesn't mean I don't appreciate both. I really, really appreciate both. And I'm also going to tell you that this has gotten me into some trouble. I've been thinking about that recently um, for certain hires on my team. I prefer an action taker over a thinker. Okay. Now, I do think there's a balance here, right? Um, those of you in Design Suite, I recently, I don't know if it came out this week or it's came out the previous week or it's coming out this week. I think it's this week. Um, I talked about feminine and masculine energy. It's a very interesting concept to me, but the more I kind of dig into it, the more I'm like, oh, like even though it doesn't have names that I love, it like it's still talking about how we need both of these things in order to be really good at something. But um, I was thinking about, especially on my team and in Design Suite, the designers that I appreciate the most, they are this every day of the week. Like they're testing everything. They are making sure that they're following and watching the coursework. They are actually taking action. They're doing, okay? And um, I think if you are someone who tends to be a thinker, it's not a bad thing, okay? It just doesn't give results. And I, one of our, one of our uh, core uh, values at Karina Gardner Inc. and in Design Suite is results driven um, versus intention. And I was thinking about this because Tony Robbins actually talked about this. So this is what I think it kind of is the difference between um, intention. Okay. A thinker, they have intentions. They're thinking about the intention of whatever they're going to do. Okay. They spend a lot of time thinking on it. They want to make the right choice. Okay. They very tend to very often quality. Okay. Is a big deal to them. Right. And very often perfectionism. Um, why? Because they, they don't want to make the wrong mistake, right? Like I see this all the time. People were like, they're overthinking something. They want to be perfect at it. They don't want to make the wrong mistake. They want their design work to be exactly right. Right. Versus action takers tend to be results driven. Okay. So they're paying attention to the results. Um, they tend to be fast decision makers, fast decision makers. Um, which I think is key because sometimes we will labor. Let me give you an example. If I labor over a decision for five days, okay, and I'm just like, I can't make a decision. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of lost. I don't know if I want to do it. And then I finally make a decision after five days. The fast action taker, maybe they make a decision after one day and they start testing whatever it is that they are doing. By day five, for them, day one, 
They made the decision. They've been testing for four days. They know whether it works or not. So on day five, they either pivot or they keep doing it. Whereas this person really is only going to get started at day five. Do you guys see the problem with that? The fast action taker can get the result quicker. They can figure out if it's wrong faster. And this person, because they're trying to be perfect and make the right decision, what's, guys, listen, decision making is hard. It is hard because we choose for it to be hard, okay? So like we choose for it to be hard and then what happens is you probably are gonna still make the same mistakes as action taker, but you waited five days to make that action. Okay, sorry, let's go back to this whole idea of intention versus results. This is the first time I ever heard this and I used to believe intention was everything, always. Like I used to really believe that like, if I have a good heart and my intention is to X, Y, and Z, okay? then that's the right thing. But Tony Robbins said, and I can't even remember which book I had read of it, uh, him reading in it, but he basically said that intention means nothing. Only the result matters. So let me give you an example of like everyday real life. I'm going to have to make this up as I go. Okay. Um, oh, I have a good one. This is, I'm doing this on a Saturday morning and, uh, my middle daughter is in the Utah youth, uh, symphony and she has to go to a two hour practice every single Saturday morning. Her parents do not wake up and tell her to go out the door. She just has to get up and get out the door. Um, she has a ride right now. She still doesn't have her license. She has a ride and, um, I'm going to say this child likes to sleep in like all teenagers, right? Like she really likes to sleep in. So she's basically lost her Saturday morning. Okay. Her intention could be that she really wants to get up and she really wants to get to symphony practice on time. Okay. That could be her attention. But the action behind it is the, the thing that actually matters because I could have the intention and I still oversleep and sleep through my clock. My intention is to become better in that youth symphony. But if I sleep through my clock and I miss the practice, then I'm not going to be better, right? So the result of it is the actual thing that matters, not the intention of it. Do you guys see where I'm going with this? This is a very big deal. Okay. This is a big deal because I think all of us really have good intentions. I think 99% of the human population is actually extremely good people. Like, like, I think we're really, I have a real hope in the world that we are good people and we're trying to do good things and we're trying to, to bring something amazing to the table. We want to serve our families. We want to serve our friends. We want humanity to be a good place. I do think we want world peace. And, um, because of that, um, I think most of us have good intentions, but I don't think many of us actually are action takers. So this whole episode is just to tell you to make a shift to action taking, because here's the thing with a thinker, they're still going to have to take action eventually, aren't they? Eventually they are still going to have to actually do the steps to test whether their theory, whether their hypothesis is true. The only difference is this person who does it quickly, the quick action taker, they get it done faster and they figure out much faster whether something's going to work or not work for them. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I love having you here. If you're on the YouTube channel, I would love for you to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For those of you who do subscribe, um, we try to bring you great content here. You can see we've kind of mixing things up more teaching style here on the YouTube channel. If you're on the podcast, would love for you to give us a review. It helps more, uh, more eyes. It helps more ears come hear us on this podcast to hear what we're talking about. And we want, um, we want creatives. We want designers, we want artists to figure out their way in this world. I don't like that there's this starving artist myth. I don't think it needs to exist anymore. I think there are ways for us to make money as creatives and we need to be thinking smart about it, making changes to our lives so that we can get there. Hey, did you know that you can visit me at makeanddesign.com to learn more about this podcast and join my VIP group for weekly freebies? I can't wait to see you there.